the undisputed king of motorcycle daredevils is Evil Knievel. For three decades, the entire world was a witness of his success or failure. His most memorable stunt gone bad was in 1967. Caesar's Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. The injuries at Caesar's Palace are shocking. Evil Knievel breaks over 40 bones and is in a coma for 30 days. He never attempted the jump again, but the legend of Caesar's was born. It took 13 years to get approval for stuntman Gary Wells to attempt to once again jump the fountains at Caesar's Palace. We've had five approaches so far. This appears to be at 90 miles an hour. He's up. 23 year old Gary Wells. He's missed it. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. He's down. He's hurt. My God, he's not even moving. He's hurt. He's hurt. Gary Wells breaks his back, both legs, both lungs collapse, and his aorta is ripped from his heart. But he survives. Wells claims that the reason the stunt went bad was because someone moved his landing ramp during the night. The fountains of Caesar's Palace claim another right, and the legend continues. Nine years later, Caesar's is once again challenged, this time by the son of Evil Knievel, Robbie. The distance is 170 feet, a distance Robbie has never jumped before. conquer the fountains of Caesar's Palace. This victory is just one of the many amazing jumps of his career, a career that is constantly pushing for longer distances, faster speeds, a never-ending battle against Robbie's constant competitor. Death. Death is uh, probably the toughest competitor in life, and I continue to beat it every single time. And mentally, you have to block that out. You think about it, it's there, it's right in front of you and you feel it when you're headed for that ramp. <laughs> it's like, these are the last seconds of my life, shifting from first gear to fifth gear before I hit that takeoff ramp at 90 miles an hour. 